Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we will, now we move to uh, the concepts of magnetic field, or sorry, magnetic force between two parallel currents. Uh, before we start this, I want to remind you, uh, in previous uh, concepts, we talked about electric force between two charges. If there are positive charges, Q1 and Q2, there will be repulsion, F12, F21. If there are uh, positive and negative charges, there will be attraction, F12, F21. And this forces is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1, Q2 over R squared, where R is the distance between the charges. This is something that you have done before. Now we are going to do something similar, but we have currents. We don't have charges. So we have a current I in this wire, and I assume this wire is, is infinite wire, or let's say it has a length L, okay? Let's, let's, let's not talk about infinite wires, okay? And uh, uh, you know that at a distance d from the wire, distance d, at this point there will be a magnetic field, okay? And please tell me what, the, what is the direction of the magnetic field at that point. Can you tell me what is the direction of the magnetic field at that point? Your, thing, your, th your, your thumb with the current, it is in. So I have magnetic field here, in. I'm going to call it B1, like this, B1. At that point, the distance D. If I go to another point, the direction will be the same, but D will be different, okay? The distance will be different. And that B1, I can give you the value, the magnitude of B1. Mu zero I over two pi D. That's the magnetic field due to an infinite, uh, infinitely long wire, okay? That's, that's very long wire, okay? Very long wire, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to take another, another wire, okay? And I'm going to put it at this point here. Parallel. Parallel currents, eh? So I'm going to take another wire. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to pass a current, I2, in the same direction. Okay? Now, if you go back to the previous uh, videos, uh, this wire has a current I, and in the magnetic field B, there will be a force on that current. A force. And uh, this is a magnetic force, of course. Eh? And please, tell me what is the direction of the magnetic force. And that magnetic force, I can write the equation for it here. F will be I L cross B. B1 eh? and I2. The current I2 and the magnetic field due to the wire, wire 1, this B1. And L is the length of this wire, okay? Length of this wire. Okay? And that's the, that, that, that's the force. In, uh, since uh, I, uh, uh, or yeah, since I2 and B are perpendicular, you can find that the magnetic field is I2 L B1. You agree? Yes. But B1 is this B1. Huh? B1 is here. I'm going to put it here. So I get F equal mu0 I1 I2 over what? 2 pi D times L. That's the force, force on wire 2 due to 1. Like I call it F21, okay? Like here we have the charges, F12, F21, the same thing. And then the direction. Now, since there's a cross product, you put your finger with the current I2, and you go to B1, which is inside, and the force will be to the right. The force, sorry, will be to the left here in this case. Eh? There's a force F21, okay? F21. That's the force on wire due to, due to the wire 1, which has produced the magnetic field B1. And that's the force on it. Okay, that's the force. Sometimes, this is a Newton, of course, eh? Newton. That's the units. If you use SI units for every all the terms here, you get Newton. Sometimes you, they write the force per unit length, which is mu0, I1, I2, over 2 pi D. Okay, and that's a Newton per meter. Okay, that's the units... This is force, they say this, they tell you the force per force per unit length. Because uh, these are infinite wires, so you assume that the length is very large, and therefore you look for the force per meter. For every meter, how much is the force, okay? It's called the force per unit length. Now, let's go to the other wire now. Remember that the current I2 produces a magnetic field. Here is inside, 
and on this side is outside. So at this point here, there's a magnetic field. I'm going to call it B2, uh, and that magnetic field is due to the wire, I, the wire the current I2, and that B2 in magnitude is a mu zero I2 over two pi d, the distance d. Okay. Now there will be a force on that wire, wire, wire number one. And there is a force, and I cross B, B is outside, the force will be in this direction. I'm going to call it F12. Wow, this is exactly what we have here. For the charges, now we also, for the current, we have also attraction here. You can see it's an attraction. And F12 is uh, over L, will be mu0, I1, I2, over 2 pi D. You can see that this force, F12, and F21, they are the same. Because I1 is the same as I2. And I1 and I2 are the same here and here. And D is the same here and here. So we have the same forces. And these two forces, they form what we call an action-reaction pair. Okay? Action-reaction pair. These forces are at the distance. Huh? Reaction pair. Okay? This is an action-reaction pair. Alright? So the two forces are equal in magnitude. And they are opposite in direction. Now, what will happen if the current are in opposite directions? Not like here, in the same direction, okay? So you have the current I1 is up, it produces a magnetic field at this point, at distance D, which is what? Which is inside, and I have another, another wire here, I2, which is down, I2, and then the, the force will be uh, I cross B, uh, B is inside, huh? I cross B, the force will be in this direction here. Let me draw the force F to 1, okay? Uh, I cross B, remember, I is down and B is inside, so the force will be in this direction here. I call it F to 1. Similarly, okay, a distance between, uh, this is a, a distance between the wires, okay? Similarly, uh, for I2, I2, since it is down, it produces magnetic field here, which is inside, okay? Magnetic field which is inside B. Uh, uh, this uh, okay. This is B one. Okay, and this is B two, which is inside. And if uh, the magnetic field is inside I two cross B, which is inside, there will be a force in this direction. I call it F one two. What do you notice here when the current? So here we can write here in red. There's attraction between the wires. Yeah, attraction. Attraction. Because you, see, you can see the forces here, they attract each other, just like here, just like in this case here. But here, we have what? We have repulsion. Repulsion, okay? We have repulsion between the two wires. So if the current are in opposite direction, of course the forces, the force is the same in magnitude. Eh? F12 over L is equal F21 over L, this is the force per unit length, is a mu zero, I1, I2 over 2 pi, D, what is D here? D is the distance between the wires, be careful. Huh? The distance D is the distance between the wires, it's in meter, okay? And this is Newton over meter, and the forces are the same, but you have here uh, a repulsion when the current are in opposite direction, you have attraction when the current are in the same direction. Later, we will solve uh, problems from all the exams related to this subject. We can even put three or four wires and see what happened. Let me show you uh, uh, the, case where, the case where we have three wires, okay? And this is, by the way, this is called the side of view. And you know that. The, the wire can look at them side of view, okay? When you see the wires, look at them, this is called the side of view. You can also have a top of view. You look at them like this. So this is the top of view. It means the current here is outside the page. It's inside and here is inside the page, okay? It's important to understand this point, my son. This is called the top of view, okay? Top view. So in the exam, when you have a figure like this, you know it's the top view means you are looking at the current, not like this, but like this, okay? Uh, I want now F net, the net force, on wire 3, this wire, <coughs> due to the other two wires, okay? That's, the, that's, that's what I want. I just want the direction, please. I don't want any uh, calculations because the calculation is easy to, to, to do it. Eh? All right, so let's see. Uh, let's take them one by one, okay? There will be two forces on this wire. One due to the current I1, the other one due to the current I2, here, like this. Eh? So current in the same direction, you have attraction. Opposite direction, you have repulsion. Here, the current are in the opposite direction. It means there is a force here in this direction. 
it moves away from this wire. F31. That's the force due to wire number one on wire number three. I can even write the magnitude of that force. Eh? It's a mu zero, I1, I3 over 2 pi. The distance between them is what? It's 2D. Let's calculate the force per unit length, okay? That's the, that's the magnitude of the force, F31. The other force I have is between this wire and this wire. And these two wires are in the same direction. It means there is attraction. So they will be here. F32, like this, okay? I can write even the magnitude of F32, okay? F32 over L is a mu zero, I2, I3, I'm talking about 2 and 3, over 2 pi, the distance between them is D, here. I put 2D here because the distance is 2D, okay? So I have to now subtract to find F net. F net, I have to do, I have to, I have to do F31, over L, of course, this F net over L, minus, if I, I, if I want to take the magnitude, I remove this, signs, and I'm going to, working with magnitude now, I know that F31 is in the positive direction, and F32 is in the negative direction, and then you put these values here, and these values here. Now you have to check this here. Of course, this will be a Newton over meter. Eh? If this value here is positive, it means the net force is in to the right. If this value here is negative, it means the net force is to the left. Now you have to put the numbers you have to give you in the exam, I1, I2, and the distance D, and you find the currents. This is a simple example related to a uh, magnetic force between two, cur two parallel currents. Uh, here we have, we showed you three currents, three parallel currents, and this is how you solve a problem like that. Thank you. My son, this is an example uh, or demonstration of what Dr. Mackey has just explained to you. Uh, we have a set of wires, and these wires, uh, at the beginning, we will pass current in the same direction as you have seen uh, with Dr. Mackey that they should attract each other, okay? So this is the situation. Right now, there is no current. When we pass the current and all of them in the same direction, they will merge uh, and attract each other, see? They attract each other because the current is moving in the same direction through all of them. Okay, now we have two sets of wires. We have three red wires and three black uh, wires. I hope they are clear in the video. Uh, for the red ones, we, the current will pass in the same direction, okay? And in the three black wires, the current will be moving in the opposite direction, okay? Uh, as a result, we uh, expect that the red wires will attract each other, the black ones will attract each other, but the red set and the black set will uh, keep away from each other because the currents will be in opposite directions. Okay, this is the situation. And now we will connect the circuit, as you can see, here they attract, there they attract, but the two sets will keep away from each other uh, because of having the current in opposite direction. Thank you.